Hey guys, this is Materi, and this is the 11th video in my sound design tutorials. And again, we're going to be going over dubstep basses, hopefully trying to help you um, understand how to make your own sounds and understand just what everything does and how to, again, make your own sounds. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, definitely check them out. They'll tell you everything that you need to know. And this is really just the practice videos as opposed to the uh, theory videos, which we went over um, in the first few videos. <clears throat> so we're going to be going over um, some more dubstep basses, trying to go a little bit more advanced, not too advanced. Um, so here we go. We'll make just uh, some cool sounds. Let's try making something cool. So maybe silver, just a random uh, wavetable, just down two octaves, bend plus minus on, of course. So playing around with this intensity knob, I could hear some really cool some cool stuff happening right there. So if I keep that there and I just put, just change this to a performer, just this uh, sawtooth, it'll go like, I, I, ah, ah, ah. And I could even make that shorter um, just by putting one of these on instead. Make them longer. I'm just experimenting and seeing what sounds good. Maybe. What does phase modulation do to this? Nothing good, so I'll just keep that off. And now let me add <clears throat> another wavetable. You could turn off uh, oscillator one to hear how your second oscillator sounds. You got another one right there. So if we put this right here. So that's sounding pretty cool. Let's put this a serial, mix two, then that, 
Now, before I do any of that, I'm going to change this to monophonic because it's just a dubstep bass. Put this up to 10. <laughs> Maybe add some more distortion to it. Let's add a band reject and we could put Settings. Nah, don't want that. Maybe a double knock. Maybe a scream now. The sound isn't coming out that great. <clears throat> One thing about sound design, if something doesn't go good, or if, you, if you're not feeling the sound, you should just start over, in my opinion. Uh, that wasn't sounding too good, so I just changed it. Uh, let's try some other. That sounds pretty badass. I wonder what it sounds like. Dimension expander. Classic tube. Bump the highs a little bit. Maybe if we put this on here, we get a cool sound over here, but I don't want it to start over there. So that's sounding pretty badass in my opinion. What if... So that's pretty sick. What about... Oh, that's... That sounded pretty cool.
Now what if we put a uh, scream on it? Lower all this crap. Make sure it's up at serial. Down. What if we put an LFO on here? Maybe a little bit more distortion, make it a little bit more metallic -y. Oh, I forgot, monophonic, legato is always on. So that's pretty cool. And again, one oscillator. Um, hopefully I was clear about everything. <clears throat> um, it's just like moving knobs around slowly, hearing what sounds really cool, and then applying either an LFO or an, or an envelope to really get the sound at the time that I want it to get in or to affect the sound at the moment I want it to affect the sound. So like the LFO, I wanted it on the resonance because there's a really cool hit right there. Like if I mute this. It just adds a little bit more to that metallic sound. Um, the band reject, putting an LFO backwards is always something cool to do. So like if I... Like it already sounds completely different. So it sounds like way different. Um, the envelopes over here, it's really transforming the sound from like that bleh into the metal sound. Yeah, so again, moving stuff around and hearing what sounds really good and then trying to get those at the certain times where they sound really good. So just think about sound design like that. <clears throat> um, I guess that'll be it for the sound design tutorials. Uh, maybe later on I'll add some more, but I think this is good enough for everyone to get a good understanding and hopefully understand how to make their own sounds. If there's something you don't get, message me, comment on the video. Um, I'd suggest watching all the videos before commenting though, or messaging me, because I might go over it in a different video. So um, if you don't understand something or if you're having, if you're still having trouble making the sounds, I'll try to make another video um, trying to go over the sound design steps a little bit more clear 
but I think I've done a pretty good job at um, describing what everything does and ultimately um, telling you how to go about um, making that sound in your head. So again, if you're having trouble with this message, comment, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already watched the other videos, watch my other videos again. Like any of my other videos, not just the sound design tutorials. I, mean, I make I make a lot of videos. Uh, listen to my music. I don't think a lot of people listen to my music on YouTube. Um, you can use my video or my songs in any of your videos. All I ask is uh, like a link in the description uh, to my channel, and you could use it. And honestly, if you uh, tag me in it, I'll probably end up finding it because I love watching videos that have my music in it. I always comment. Um, I think it's awesome when people use my music. It's like exactly what I put it on YouTube for is so people can use it and listen to it and enjoy it. So thanks for that. And um, like, comment, subscribe again. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.